Cal or excuse me, the member for Calgary Alba. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Finally, I get my turn. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, so before I begin, I do want to uh, congratulate the Premier on her historic victory, uh, congratulate the Leader of the Official Opposition and all members of the House. It is truly a new day in the Alberta Legislative Assembly, or at least I sincerely hope it is. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this government speaks frequently of their fondness for value-added. And who wouldn't? The words value-add do sound very appealing. But saying those words and actually adding value are two very different things with very different implications for Alberta taxpayers. When making these decisions, it's important to know the government understands the integrated nature of North American and global energy markets. To the Minister of Energy, what specifically are the government's plans to force a value-added model onto the marketplace? Minister of Energy. Mr. Speaker, thank you for that question. Uh, as we uh, mentioned earlier, as was mentioned earlier, we were elected by Albertans to work with en energy on the royalty review and other parts to understand the industry. To date, uh, I have been in Calgary six, seven, eight times since the election started, meeting with over 100 people in industry. And we're, we're discussing, all of us have the same interest of putting Alberta jobs first and the possibility of job creation. We've all agreed to work as partners to work to go forward and promote all those projects that will create and You sound pretty locked in on your definition of value add as if Alberta's current production doesn't add any value to Alberta's economy. To the Minister of Energy again, how many billions of dollars is value add going to cost Albertans? Thank you for that question. At this point, we're still meeting with industry to discuss all the um, stresses for them right now, the current global prices, and um, what it will take for capital investments in this industry to create those jobs and move forward. We're talking about pipelines, we're talking about val value added, and uh, the millions and billions that it will take to invest. We're creating a climate that will encourage that investment as we move forward. It sounds a lot more like magical thinking than a concrete plan, Mr. Speaker. We were told the Northwest Upgrader, which is now called the Sturgeon Refinery, would, uh, was a low-cost, low-risk project that would add value by upgrading domestic bitumen. Again, to the Minister of Energy, will your government continue the Northwest Upgrader boondoggle, a project which will cost Alberta taxpayers $26 billion? Final Minister. Thank you for that question. As with all the projects, we were uh, consulting with in industry as we move forward and looking at the pros and cons of all of that. And uh, again, we're in con constant consultation with industry to look at those projects that will bring value and jobs to Alberta.